right, guys and gals, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. My name's Nick, and this week's topic is all about the ethics and professional practice regarding engineering. As you kind of already guessed, based because based on the list that you guys have already gotten or chose on my YouTube channel. So, like I've been telling in just about every video in this series, that you know, you want to tackle these problems as best as you can by doing practice, practice, practice. And typically the best answer is the answer on the FE exam. So there are good answers and there are, you know, step by step, you know, hey, I would do this first before I do this second. And so just following a logical conclusion and just going with that instinctive, hey, this makes the most sense kind of answer is typically the one you want to circle on the FE. So just like every kind of video that I do on this channel, make sure you pause it, make sure you do it on your own, then come back and you listen to the explanation. So let's just jump right on into it. For us here, what we are going to be talking about is what to do. If your employer is disposing waste material, in this example, it's the Arkansas River in the Pueblo, Colorado. Never been myself, but I heard it's beautiful. So there are no specific regulations about this particular waste material, yet you feel that this material or waste material in general is placing an ill effect on the environment and possibly the public, and it is at risk. What is the first step your association would advise you to take? A, blow the whistle on your employer. B, report their concern to your department manager. C, report your employer to your association. Let me grab my pen here, pencil right real quick. Report your employer to the legal authority, so on and so forth. So what's the right answer? Well, the question is asking us to choose a first step. You don't want to fall into the trap of deciding what's best for the environment. That's, you know, you're an engineer, you're not an environmentalist, so on and so forth. So a clue to the question is that we're not given many details. So there's not enough information available to reach out to an authority or report a wrongdoing. Okay, so that instantly crosses off D with that line of thinking. Another clue is that blowing the whistle or reporting the act to the authorities typically used as a last resort. So honestly, we're, I mean, get like I was saying earlier, we don't have enough information. So A is an option, but it's not the best option. So the thing we need to realize is that the literature teaches us to gather information or to start a discussion first. So it's a tricky question since they use the word report to your department manager. So I think that the best answer here is B. Now there could be an argument for C, but like we are trying to prove on this channel, it is the best answer that you want. And that right there is going to be the letter C. So, or sorry, the letter B, not the letter C. So I'd love to hear your comments or any arguments that you might have in the comments down below. If y'all have any questions that I might be able to answer in a follow-up video, let me know. And yeah, have a good one, y'all.